chose the name Elemental because to us it meant simple and the whole reason we started this was so we could start something that was a little closer to the ground. The two North Shore complex we chose because it was developed only for local businesses to be in here. Um, there's a lot of great neighbors, but really having highway access being so close to Fraser Avenue, uh, we, we love the, the North Shore. T North Shore is also a LEED certified complex, uh, which is really important to us. When you first walk in the door of Elemental, the first thing you're going to notice is an entirely open kitchen. Uh, initially, we decided to do an open kitchen because we didn't have anything that we really wanted to hide. You can look back and see the chefs preparing your, your meal. You know, we don't have a walk-in freezer or anything like that because we only use fresh foods. Basically, what we tried to do is to keep it simple in here, but also make it warm. Uh, a lot of the tables and chairs and, and bar and stuff like that, we had uh, used some reclaimed wood and had a local craftsman build it for us. All the wood is sustainably sourced, whether it was a built fixture or, uh, or whether we had it built. Uh, you know, a lot of teak, some heart of pine, uh, white oak. The uh, reclaimed brick uh, that's holding up the bar and the chef's counter actually came from across the street. It was an old uh, timber mill and we were able to uh, reuse some of that brick. The tractor in the middle of the in the middle of the room. That's uh, it actually came from a, a farmer on Lookout Mountain where we bought our, our first cow from. The bulbs on the outside of the room they're called Edison bulbs, uh, and we really liked the warmness that that brought to the room. The LEDs uh, we really wanted to have a. Uh, a natural light, uh, you know, like sun, basically like sunlight when we're looking at the foods, so that it doesn't look yellow or, or off-colored. A lot of the natural light that we have coming through the windows uh, helps with our electricity. We run reverse osmosis water so that we, uh, you know, we don't we don't have to buy bottled water. Uh, we can, you know, we can be proud of the water we're serving through, you know, through our filtration system. When I was 15, I started baking in a, uh, a restaurant near my house, and so I was literally going in at 4 a.m. before uh, uh, before school, and I'd do some baking. Uh, after school, I'd come back and do a little bit of pastry, and eventually uh, that wore on me a little bit the early hours, and so I came upstairs to the big restaurant and was able to start working up there, and immediately I knew that's what I wanted to do. When I first walked in there, it was like a different world because you've got so many different people from so many different backgrounds. Uh, it was the energy, the lifestyle, the whole, the whole thing. I was hooked immediately. Well, I was lucky enough to have a chef that practiced sustainability. You know, back in the back in the '90s, he was really, really amped about buying from local farmers and stuff like that. So he kind of uh, ingrained that that thought process in my head from the beginning, uh, and then. He would send me to different chefs and restaurants around uh, around Washington, D.C. That, that also believed in the, the same practices. I think that food should be emotional and, and really it's, that's kind of the, the next trend, uh, if you want to call it a trend, is people asking where their food comes from. Uh, I think it's really important to know, uh, you know the process and understand uh, you know, why things are done a certain way, uh, how the animals were treated or what was sprayed on the on the plants and stuff like that. So I was again kind of ingrained to have that thought process, and I wanted uh, I wanted other people to think that way too. There's a lot of restaurants that are doing a really good job with with buying local uh, in in Chattanooga. Uh, I guess we kind of wanted to. Uh, step up our own game a little bit and challenge ourselves. All the farmers have stepped up and have done an amazing job. There's, we can literally call the farm and then they'll, they'll pick it the next morning and bring it to us. So there's a lot of positive changes that we're seeing. It's most important for us to buy from farms that are practicing sustainability. We buy mostly from small farms. If we're going to go to a farm and make sure that, that they aren't uh, spraying uh, pesticides and stuff like that and then you know, animals, there's uh, all different standards that we look at, including, you know, no hormones, no antibiotics. All of our beef is going to be grass-fed. Uh, 
you know, humane practices, uh, stuff like that. We've, we've got a lot of main partners though. You know, Crabtree Farms has been around uh, for, for quite a few years and they do a great job. Uh, we've, uh, we've done a lot of events together and uh, you know, they're, they're a farm that I know we can trust. Bonte Farms, uh, Steve Bonico is kind of starting to develop a relationship between me and, and, and their farm and uh, it's great because I can buy a lot of our staples from there, uh, you know, potatoes, onions, uh, all, the, all the basic necessities and then they've got some specialty foods and some fruits as well so that's, that's been a, a really good one for us. I think it's really important to establish those relationships. A lot of, a lot of times what happens is the you know, maybe the farmer doesn't want to fully commit to a restaurant because, you know, a restaurant might be, uh, you know, well, we're going to have to send all this product back to you because the, the lettuce has holes in it or whatever the reason. And then the chef might not want to fully commit to the farmer because uh, maybe the, the delivery system's off or it's difficult or, or whatever, the, whatever the reason for it is. And I think it's important to establish that relationship based on trust and once you do that then you're going to see a little more uh, a little more effort from both sides. The local community is really flourishing right now and and uh, you know the support is definitely there when people come into the restaurant and they they see that you know we're trying to buy everything we possibly can locally they're 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 excited.